and more breaking news this afternoon, this time in the Fairfax district where witnesses say a man was shot and killed over a pair of shoes. That's right. We're told an employee had just arrived for work when he was killed. It happened just after noon at the Shoe Palace on Melrose mm -hmm. Avenue near Genesee Avenue. KCAMA's Hermela Aragawi is live at the scene with more. Hermela. Hi, Susie Wan. Yeah, police tell us the suspect sped away from this scene, so they are now currently on the hunt for that shooter. Let me step out of the way so that you can see. Take a look there. Very much an active scene. Police tell us a lot of this happened in front of the shoe palace there. There was a shoe raffle where you see that tent. A fight broke out there, and that's when police believe an employee who lives down the street walked down here to break up that fight, but instead lost his life. A bottle of water and pieces of clothing lay in the middle of the street where police say a shoe store employee was shot this afternoon. Witnesses tell us the victim was trying to break up a fight over a shoe raffle. Already was coming into work and he's seen it happening and tried to de-escalate it. You know, they tried to surround him, so he kind of just backed up like, hey, I'll fight you guys. And the guy just pulled out a gun and shot him. LAPD tells us the victim, who was in his late 20s, was taken to a local hospital where he later died. Eric DeCam says that was his friend. It's very heartbreaking because he, like, he, li he lived on the street. He just walked to work. He was from Colorado. He moved out here last year. And he was just pursuing his career to become a musician. He was a, a nice person, a great person. Every time I came in, my family came in. He always took care of us. He always looked out for us. And Police tell us the suspect drove away in a dark sedan going northbound on Genesee Avenue. Investigators also tell us they've been getting multiple descriptions for the suspect vehicle. So at this time, they're working on getting a firm ID and license plate before they release that. They're also looking into security camera that may have captured the incident. Live in the uh, Fairfax District, Hermela Aragawi, KCAL 9 News. Hermela, thank you. Uh,